whether it's making fine-tuned adjustments or crafting some creative images. Photo Director comes equipped with a great set of 360 degree photo editing tools. In this tutorial, we'll import a 360 photo, straighten and level the image, remove the tripod, and get a bit creative by using the polar panorama effect to create some little planets. Open Photo Director, and if you haven't already done so, import a 360 image from the library tab. Next, click on the Edit tab and select your 360 image from your images at the bottom of the screen. We'll begin by straightening the image. Click on the 360 Photo Editor category in the left menu, then select Straighten from the list of tools. Taking a look at the control panel, we can adjust the image horizontally and vertically. We can also level out the picture as well. Hover over the image and you can see the same controls are transposed as well. You may find it easier to make adjustments directly on the image. To keep things simple, let's just drag the image to a desired focal point. Use the circular leveling tool at the center of your screen to aim at your target. Once you've sighted in your image, straighten out the image with the leveling tool and make adjustments horizontally and vertically as needed. When finished, click Done. Next, let's remove the tripod from your image. Select Tripod Removal, and from the following display, click Enable Tripod Removal. From here, you can remove the tripod at the bottom of an image by selecting South Pole, or at the top of an image by selecting North Pole. There are two options to select between to disguise your camera tripod. First, we can use a reflective bubble. As you may have noticed, this bubble is simply a reflection of your 360 degree image. The size of the bubble can be adjusted using the slider below. You can also select Blur. As the name suggests, Blur unfocuses the area around the tripod, effectively covering it and blending with surrounding objects and colors. An additional setting with the Blur cover lets you adjust the strength of the blur. Increasing the strength will blend the colors together, whereas decreasing the strength will retain more of the original pattern. When finished, click Done. If, at any time, you want to go back to viewing your photo in 360 mode, which allows you to pan around in 360 degrees, right-click on your image and select Edit 360 Photo. Next, let's create a little planet. Select Little Planet and adjust the aspect ratio according to your preference. There are two viewing modes. We can create a little planet by clicking ground side as planet, which uses all objects situated on the ground for the spherical planet, or we can create an abstract planet with the sky as the focal point by clicking sky side as planet. Below are controls to adjust your little planet. First, we can rotate the image with a slider or by simply dragging the image. Secondly, we can zoom in and out of the focal point or adjust the focal point itself with a pair of sliders. You might need to play around with these sliders a little in order to get the look you're after. Finally, we can zoom in or out of the image by adjusting the field of view slider. If you'd like to make multiple little planets, click Save As at any time. If you'd like to save and finish, click Done. Finally, let's take a quick look at one of the most useful aspects of 360 degree photos. The ability to quickly and easily make great panorama images. With your 360 photo selected, click on the 360 panorama item. You have the option of three projection modes. Firstly, cylindrical which is essentially projecting the 360 degree sphere onto a surface of a cylinder, providing a full 360 degree field of view in the horizontal, but only about 120 degrees or so in the vertical. Pixels located close to the poles will be stretched. Secondly, equirectangular, which is a latitude-longitude projection of the 360 sphere. 
and lastly, Mercator, which is a variation of the cylindrical projection, but with less stretching at the top and bottom. The projection that works best will depend on the specific image you're dealing with. You can crop the panorama by clicking and dragging any of the eight anchor points around the image. This is a good way to get rid of stretching and distortion near the extremities. A slider enables you to customize a field of view. When you're happy, click Done and you'll be prompted to save the new panorama image. Your new image will also automatically be added to your library.